the fabric store that has all kinds of goodies and is an inspiring story as well. Our very own Vacaville correspondent, Dina Cupford, there checking all of it out. Hi, <laughs> Dina. Hi, yes, I know I need a little shirt. Vacaville correspondent, yes. Dina. Uh, yeah, good morning <laughs> to all of you. So earlier we were at the farmer's market kind of previewing what goes on in downtown Vacaville. But there's also a lot of wonderful businesses. And this space in particular just opened in the middle of COVID. This is the cloth carousel. And this is actually a combination of yarn and also fabrics inside of one 7,000 square foot space. So it's huge. And they also give classes. That's why we wanted to come out here today to kind of give you all something to do with your kiddos. If you're still working on trying to figure out certain activities from home and getting in those school credits, this is a good activity to do that. So we have Adina with us this morning, who is the owner. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, pronounce your last name because I don't want to mess it up. Schwartfeger. That's it. Uh, Adina, good morning. Good so morning. this space is beautiful. Talk about, obviously, your desire to move from Winters to Vacaville a couple of months ago and open up this space. Well, we really needed a space that we could combine two stores into one. And I'd always wanted to be in downtown Vacaville, and the space opened up, and it worked out perfect. Enough classroom space and um, close enough to downtown, but still plenty of parking. Yes, and I want to show you too, Terry, if you can come look over here. These items here on the side are examples of what you offer in your classes. So you do little workshops. You say you start kiddos as young as what age? Five years old. Our little stitchers classes are five to seven-year-olds, and then we have kids sewing starting at eight-year-old. And then we also have uh, beginning adult sewing that starts at 14 years old. Okay, and I want to walk back and take a look at the class space because yeah. I think this is so great. So you are able to have classes once again. You just have to make sure people are spaced out, distance apart, and then you're offering these classes fairly often. So yeah. what's the best way for people to sign up and find those? Uh, find those on our website, clothcarousel.com. You can also check our events on our Facebook page. Okay. So this space was originally planned for four classrooms, but now that we can't get so cozy, um, we can divide it into two classes. Um, this is a little leftover from our Sunday kids class, and um, we're able to spread out quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and Adina, I know that you are someone who was greatly impacted by the fires that came through here, the LNU Lightning Complex fire. So talk about how your family was, was devastated by this. Uh, we lost our house uh, in the Hennessy fire. We're out on Pleasant Hills Ranch. And um, our barn and our workshop was saved, but um, our house is a total loss. So we're staying in town um, at a friend of a friend's house, and um, we're all good. Wow. The, the willingness that you have to still move forward and be a part of this community and also help out with the farmer's market, you also helped to, to sponsor this tote project. So talk about this and how this is connected to the market. Well, it's really about bringing people to downtown and reminding them to shop local. Um, there are so many businesses in addition to restaurants, but, you know, you need to shop local, um, retail your restaurants, tip your waitresses, so that way they can put their money back into the community. Yeah, yeah. And it is really about, you know, keeping the community going. Yep, absolutely. Well, I am so sorry that you lost your home, but I am so grateful that I get to live in a community where we have women like Adina who said, you know what, even though we're going through something, we're going to try to still provide for our community and make sure that we have something like this around. So thank you so much. And if you would like to sign up for any of those classes, we'll have all the information on our Good Day Sacramento website, guys. Back over to you. Absolutely. Wonderful. All right. Thanks, Dina. Appreciate it.